Okay. Yes, Hare Krishna, dear children, welcome to today's class. Yes, we are meeting after a long time because we were busy with Akartik Purnima and we were also traveling to Sridham Vrindavan and I prayed for all of you for the spiritual Hare progress Krishna, and an actual happy life for all of you. So now we will start today's class with prayers. Uh, okay, we have Shamita, Shamita who will say the prayers. Shamita, are you there? Yes, you can Shamita. start the prayers. Yes, Hare Krishna. Oh, Hare Krishna. Oh, Magnana Timiranda Syagnana Jana Salakaya Chaksur Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Venamaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadama Yam Dada Tiswapadantikam One day Ham Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamala Sri Guru Vaishnavamscha Sri Rupram Sagra Jatam Sahagana Ragunantham Vitham Tamsa Jeevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parichana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Sri Radha Krishna Pada Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vaisakan Vitamscha Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandu Jagat Pite Go Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kata Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Rade Vrindava Neshwari Vishabana Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kap Vancha Kalpata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Pye Vacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishna Vepyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Kaura Prakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Shamita. That was wonderful. And uh, all the other children present in this meeting today, please, please go through this shloka, which is on the first page of Bhagavad Gita as it is introduction part. Right? If possible, read the translation also. But every day, at least once, read through it. That is how, when we were small children, when I was in my, say, sixth grade, I learned this. And uh, I did not sit and ever sit and learn, learn this. I always uh, read through this. And reading and reading it number of times, automatically, uh, I memorized these shlokas. Right? They may, might seem long at the moment, but they are not uh, difficult at all, children. So will you do that? Okay, I can see many people, children doing thumbs up. Okay, so now... What is that you're talking about, Mataji? Uh, Amog, so you have joined late. This is about the prayers. I'm okay. sorry, Mataji, I couldn't join all the time because I was in my native. Oh, I see. Okay, so uh, this is about the prayers. Om Agnana Timirandasya, right? Which we recite before each class. All right, so now I am going to uh, ask all, and one by one, I will ask you to unmute yourselves, children. And all of you, please be attentive while reading the shloka, while somebody who is reading the shloka, then the next person will be asked to read the translation. And in fact, I want you to read the synonyms also, children, so that you know, and we learn a little bit of Sanskrit, right? Because Sanskrit is the... Um, um, mother of uh, all the languages. Okay, somebody is asking, I just joined, what are we doing? Okay, we are doing shloka number 2.11 from Bhagavad Gita. Excuse me, Mataji. Yes, yes. Karunya. Excuse me, Mataji. Yes, yes. Are they Krishna Mataji. Ah, yes. That I do not, I do not notice uh, uh, what the uh, translation sign Bhagavad Gita, this prayer, I do not, how to teach to my daughter, I do not know that. But spelling, ah, okay. uh, speaking, please teach her again. So one thing yeah, Madhaji, this, this will be uh, live streamed, uh, this will be, sorry, this is a recording and it will be put on the YouTube channel of Iskon Whitefield. So, uh, Shamita, one of our participants here, she has just recited it very well. So, uh, yes, you Mataji. can go to that recording and have a look at it. All right, Mataji? Huh? So you can hear. Okay, and okay Mataji. Thank you. you. Do you have Bhagavad Gita as it is? Bhagavad Gita. The book is not there, Mataji. Okay, then we will send the link from where you can get this book. 
okay okay so i'll go mata ji in kannada i can yes tell i can teach with her but english i do not know okay you have teach options about spelling history you have okay. options you can buy kannada bhagavad gita also okay okay mata we went uh, we mata ji we went uh, eight days for mathura mata ji hari po next is uh, ah this is chat okay very so can attend the classes the we okay, searched okay. their bhagavad gita book mata ji but we did not get in full hindi only it is there okay we will just send a link and uh, you can okay. order your book copy of kannada bhagavad gita from there iskon white field okay. uh, has it okay go gita dot i okay all okay, right mata ji yeah so now let us uh, continue our reading so now i i would request uh, uh, who would like to read the shloka let me check uh, shamita pollas brother is there uh, would you like to read the shloka okay mata ji hari shri bhagavan vacha asya okay repeat after me अशोच्यान अन्वशोकास्तम वाच यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हि श्रीभगवान्वाचा You are limit, lamenting. Tum, tum. You. Pragnavadan. Pragnavadan. Learn to talks. Cha. Also. Bhasha se. Bhasha se. Speaking. Gata. Lost. Gata lost. Asum. Life. Asum. life agata agata not past asun asun life okay ch also na never anushochanti anushochanti lemon lemon panditah panditah the learned the learned the learned wonderful tarunya tarunya can you read the translation please bismata yes, ji can you read the translation i will try it mata ji yeah sure very good the surupmita no the supreme personality the supreme personality of god and said by speaking land words you are morning of mata ji i cannot see that for for what is not worthy of grief mata ji i cannot see okay no problem amok oh, can you read amok can you read the translation Mata ji. Yeah. Please be attentive. Hmm. Translate. Mata ji, I wasn't able to unmute. So, okay. The supreme personality of God itself, 
while speaking learnt words you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief those who are wise lament neither for life for the life nor living. for the dead for the living nor for the dead okay all right now uh, navya can you read the purport navya are you there yeah Yes, Mataji, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Read, read the purport. The Lord at once took the position of a teacher and chastised the student, calling him indirectly a fool. The Lord said, "One minute, you are you are talking like a learned man, but you do not know that one who is learned." one who knows what is body and what is soul does not lament for any stage of his body neither is the uh, neither in the living nor in the dead condition as explained in later chapters it will be clear that knowledge means to know matter and spirit and the controller of both wonderful akshaya thank you mati ji hari krishna Thank you so much. Okay, Akshaya, read next. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Arjuna agreed. Arjuna agreed. Where? Argue. Argue. The religion principles should be more given more important than political or sociology. But he have but he did not know that knowledge of matter, souls, and supreme is. even more important than religion formals and become and because he was lack in the knowledge he should not have posed himself in as a very learned man Hare thank krishna. you hari krishna wonderful shri ram tej no prema mata ji san omkar is there omkar would you like to read okay mata ji so what should i read yeah like, the puppet um, where the where aksha left from it's marked on the screen okay okay hmm. as he did not happen to be a very learned man he was consequently lamenting for something which was unworthy of lamentation the body is born and is destined to be vanquished today or tomorrow therefore the body which is not as important as the soul is not as important as the soul one who knows this is actually learned and for him there is no cause for lamentation regardless of the condition of the material body wonderful okay thank you mataji hari krishna thank you so children here what is happening right what is exactly happening here now arjuna is really really lamenting you know i want i want to tell you about this uh, shloka and uh, and uh, arjuna has told krishna krishna no krishna i am not going to fight that my relatives um, you know i can't kill my relatives and sin will overcome us and you know so many excuses he gives for to krishna for not fighting and he also says that if i if i uh, even if i win this entire kingdom after killing all my cousins and my uncles and my my guru and my great grandfather that then who will i enjoy this this uh, kingdom with right who will i show this kingdom to right so so and listening to this you all know that sanjaya is directly telling what is happening in the battlefield to dhritarashtra dhritarashtra is the father of the kauravas he is not only physically blind but he is also spiritually a blind man because he does not know anything about soul is only at the body conscious my children my kingdom my children should win right and uh, see uh, even the pandavas are his children because uh, they are the children of his elder brother pandu so when he died so so for his younger brother pandu so when he died it is his duty to take care of the pandavas but he was so jealous of the pandavas right uh, so now dhritarashtra is very happy oh wow we have won the battle now arjuna is giving up and arjuna is becoming a very coward person and now definitely my children are going to win the battle but it is not so so immediately uh, sanjay says to uh, dhritarashtra wait wait dhritarashtra don't be too excited 
that supreme personality of god at that supreme teacher krishna is going to now tell arjuna that what is right and what is wrong right and here what is arjuna saying that arjuna is giving so many uh, you know reasons from the shastras also he is telling krishna 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 you don't know according to this shastra according to that shastra one should not kill the elders and elders should not be even given a verbal fight we should not even argue with the elders how can i uh, fight uh, and kill my own elders and what are you saying krishna and uh, if we kill all the men uh, of the kauravas then all the ladies will be unprotected and there will be so many unwanted children and the leaders will be corrupt this that so many things you are saying krishna says hold on krishna says wait arjuna wait you are speaking from yoga shastra from uh, from uh, the yuddha shastra and so many other shastras but do you know who is a learned person krishna is saying that all those who have got medals and gold medals and many many certificates are they learned right he is asking a question to arjuna so am i asking you children do you think that those who are uh, who who have attained a, a lot of things academically and those who are on the big big posts and companies and all those who have acquired a lot of money are they learned people yes come on raise your hands to tell me oh kiara showing me both the thumbs down okay why let us let us understand from her kiara tell me why such people are not actually learned ma mata ji most of them uh, when we mostly many people not uh, not all but most people in the world focus on getting more money and mm. saving them and everyone thinks that he's learned he's learned but mm. but the actually he is not at all learned because he's not he's just focusing on saving money <laughs> so what should he focus on so what should he focus on we should focus on that we have that we have everything we need and if we we don't need anything other than uh, we don't need anything much yeah and and that that person it's not wrong to have money it's not wrong to have good fame but out but all that is equivalent to zeros if we don't have that one krishna with us isn't it so yes. any number you see children any number how many ever zeros you put until and unless you don't put that one in front of that those many 5 6 7 10 12 zeros that number remains zero only so all our achievements all our money all our medals gold medals certificates all are a zero if we don't put that one krishna one number krishna in front of us right so always keep krishna in the center but what is krishna telling arjuna the here so let's see what is real knowledge okay now let's go to the next slide and see what is what is krishna telling so uh, see see th this is what you know in the chap in the previous uh, shlokas we learned that yes arjuna is lamenting and how can i kill my superiors and he's totally depressed sometimes we also get depressed isn't it and um, so he says okay krishna now i am your disciple i am totally confused please guide me so now krishna is going to speak to arjuna right now krishna will tell now let us go back mata ji let's go to the next slide and see so let us now see what is krishna telling arjuna ki that who is actually a real uh, learned person now arjuna is lamenting why is lamenting because he is compassionate towards his relatives he is so compassionate that oh the the women of this family whom uh, will kill their husbands they will become you know without any support they will be attacked by other men there will be so many other unwanted children and this and that so let us see what actually compassion is first of all why and is Arjuna is right that we should not kill uh, our superiors. We should not fight with our elders. He is correct, but still, why his um, uh, compassion is unwanted? Let us see. In this video, there are so many people who want to do so much of uh, philanthropic work, like feeding the poor, giving them money. Let us see if this is compassion or it is like Arjuna's compassion. Is it the real or Arjuna's compassion? Right. I want you to see this video, children. Okay, as of now, there's no sound, huh? Yes, Mata Ji, I'll I'll just switch on the sound. One second.
दिखाता हूँ मुझे पहले एक अंदाजा ही जी आर यू एबल टू हियर इट यस यस सदर के लिए बस यहीं से मिलेगी ना और वही बर्गर वर्गर चल रहे सैंडविच फुल ठाट है जबरदस्त भाई कोल्ड ड्रिंक भी है मेरी तरफ से रखो और इसकी अच्छी से खिदमत भी करना और अच्छा ही खिलाना भाई इसे सही है हमेशा बहुत क्यूट है माशाल्लाह ये देख क्यों नहीं रहे अंकल पीछे हाँ यार मैंने रखा तो सही है पर ये देख नहीं रहे पीछे यार हाल में दिखा ही नहीं है उन्हें अरे वाह भाई वाह बर्गर खा रहे हो कौन सा है नहीं नहीं आप खाओ मैं तो गुजर रहा था वैसे ही आपको देखा कि एंजॉय चल रहा है भाई छाओ में बैठ गए नहीं नहीं आप खाओ आप, आपने पूछा बड़ी बात है शुक्रिया ये तो आपने दोपहर का खाना खा रहे हो तो ये अब रात का खाना इन पैसों से खाना अच्छा सा खाना कुछ अपने लिए ले गए ठीक है ओके वी कैन स्टॉप ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच माता जी फॉर शेयरिंग दिस वीडियो विद चिल्ड्रन सो चिल्ड्रन नाउ आई वांट टू नो फ्रॉम यू नाउ इज नाउ व्हाट इज दिस पर्सन डूइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट रेज योर हैंड साकेत यू वांट टू से व्हाट वाज दिस पर्सन डूइंग एक्चुअली it is very clear right yes saket go ahead tell me yes saket speak up you are unmuted just unmute yourself yes yes we can hear you mata ji so i think uh, this person was helping others and not being seen because then they would not give food Mm-hmm. He was helping them because uh, he he um, he felt pity on them and he wanted them also to be rich by like him. So mm-hmm. he gave them money and food. Mm-hmm. Okay, and good. So I wanted to see the happy expression on their face when they saw the food. 
Yes, wonderful. That's a very good thing that you notice that yes, he's had pity on them and uh, he wanted to serve them food and money and see the happy expression on their face, right? Anandita, would you like to say something more on this? This is philanthropy, right? Most of the people do this. They want to feed the poor and the needy, right? So tell me, uh, Anandita, would you like to say something more? Uh, Mataji, yeah, uh, but uh, what uh, he said was right, that uh, he wanted to, he felt pity on them and wanted to give them food and money. Mm -hmm. He also wanted them also to live a happy life. Mm -hmm. and, it, and he thought that it was unfair that they were not rich and starving and he had everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Anandita, that's another observation. He wanted them not to be starving. Yes. Okay. Now, anyone else wants to say anything else that uh, just this, just think any, anything else that anybody wants to say? Sri Ram Tej, Rishikesh, Unnati, anybody of you who want to, Aditya, do you want to say what is, what is this, what is this person that he's, what is he trying to do and how far he'll be successful? Anybody would like to say children think? Okay, fine. So what we can do is, so uh, five of you have raised your hands. Who would like to say, let me see. Okay, Navya, would, Anandita just spoke. Navya, okay, Navya, tell me. What do you think? Mataji, can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Tell me. Mataji, he did that because he might have given the food directly to them, but he gave it without uh, uh, them knowing because uh, he don't want them uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, prize him. Okay, okay, got it. Got it. it. You live yes. for okay, he gave it, yeah, it's called Gupta Dan, means he did not want them to know that who is giving them. Okay, fine. Now, Unnati, Unnati, tell me what do you want to say about this? Hi, yes, Mataji. Actually, what I have thought is that uh, he is giving for the first day. And then, like what others said, that's really great. But then, first day he is giving, second day he is giving, like that, maybe he can give them for a month or max to max for an year but then how long can he keep giving like that so Absolutely. what i feel is that the thing which he is giving is temporary and permanent happiness uh, i don't think so they can find by just doing this Absolutely. That is what I was looking for. All of you spoke very well but Unnati's uh, answer is icing on the cake. Hmm? So that is what we were looking for. So isn't it compared to now? How can you compare Arjuna's compa compassion to this person's compassion? Isn't it similar? Arjuna is giving them something which is very temporary. He wants to quit, uh, you know, uh, uh, fighting the war. He wants to give the uh, 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 kingdom to them. That will give them uh, contentment, happiness, but very temporary. Again, they will take birth and again fight because they did not gain it in the right way. So it is said that whoever died on the war field of Kurukshetra went to heaven. Of course, from heaven also you come down, but at least they saw Krishna. They heard the Bhagavad Gita, right? So now that is what children, so how long can you actually go on feeding a hungry man? How long can you go on actually giving money to a poor man? The real happiness is to give Harinam. If you, okay, if with this act, he says, okay, Pele ek bari chant karo Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Then also that those people would have gotten some uh, kind of, uh, you know, at least once if you chant Hare Nam, then, you know, Krishna, you attract Krishna, Krishna's attention. That is what Iskon does. This, and even more better is if you serve Prasadam. So their life is miserable already just by giving them any food will build up more karmas because it is not prasadam, right? So we must always offer prasadam to the poor and needy if at all you want to feed the poor and needy and ask them to chant at least once. Okay, children, that was the idea. Okay, now let us go, Mataji, if you can share 2.12 uh, shloka. 
uh, I would like somebody to, it's going on very well, children. I would like uh, now Sri Ram Tesh to read this shloka. Can you read this shloka? Sri Ram Tej, are you there? Yeah. Please unmute yourself. Yeah. Oh, can you increase the volume, please? No, your volume is very low, Sri Ram Tej. We cannot hear you. Uh, it's very low, Sri Ram Tej. Can you check your settings and come back? Rishikesh, can you... Please read the shloka in the meantime. Yes, Mataji. Okay. Natve vaham jatunasham natvam neme janadipa nachevanava bishyamaha sarve vayam adhaparam. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, Mataji, can you share the link, please? Because the synonyms are not there and purport is also not there. Yes, Mataji. So Amog is asking in the meantime, are you free to chant anytime? Yes, you can chant at any time of the day, night, but the best time to chant is Brahma Murat, which is three hours before the sunrise. Right? In Vrindavan, we just came back from Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, people wake up. You know, the famous Madhavas group, they wake up at 2.30. And they uh, uh, take bath, chant their rounds, and then they make prasadam, bhoga for the Lord, offer and take the prasadam and they uh, distribute everywhere in Vrindavan. That is actual uh, charity. Okay, so uh, I would request uh, now uh, uh, Prerith. Prerith, can you unmute and read the synonyms, please? Prerith, if you are there. If not, then Aditya Sai. Aditya, can you read the cinnamon? Okay, yes, Prerith is Prerith. there. Prerith is there. Yes, Prerith. Na, ever. Never, Ooh. never. But. 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 Eva, certainly. Aham, I, Jatu, at any time. Na, did not. Asam. Asam exist. Na not. Tavam you. Na not. Time all days. Jana. Janadipaha. Janadipaha kings. Na never. Ka also. No, that is cha. That is cha. 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 Hmm. Also. Eva certainly. Na not. Bhavishyamaha. Bhavishyamaha shall. Shall exist. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Sarve vayam. Sarve vayam, all of us. Hmm. Atapara. Atapara. Hmm. Thereafter. Thereafter. Hmm. Hereafter, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Hare Krishna. Now, Aditya Sai, can you read the translation, please? Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us cease to be. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Saket, can you read the purport? Are you there, Saket? Saket was right here. Okay, Shamita, please go ahead. Shamita, please read the purport. Yes, Mataji. In the Vedas, in the Kaad, Katha Upanishad, as well as in the Sveta Svatara Upanishad, <coughs> It is said that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the maintainer of innumerable uh, living entities in terms of the different situations according to individual work and reaction of work. That Supreme Personality of Godhead is also by his plenary portions alive in the heart of every living entity, only saintly persons who can see 
within and without the same supreme personality supreme lord can actually attain to perfect and eternal peace hare krishna mataji hare krishna wonderful okay who wants to say recite the shloka who can recite the shloka just raise your hand uh, shri ram tej would you like to recite the shloka nityo nityanam ya yeah, shri ram tej Okay, Sri Ramesh appears to be there, but where is he? Okay, Unnati just spoke, right? So, okay, Aditya Sai. Okay, Aditya, you please go ahead and read the shloka. Where are you? Yes, Aditya. Go ahead. Hmm. Again, please unmute yourself. Nityo nitya nam chetana chetana nam eko bahu nam yo vidadhati kaman tamatmastam ye nu pa tamatmastam ye nu pasyanti dhiras. ऋषिकेशपट Sorry. Mata ji, till how much? Ah, just read till this entire paragraph. Read. Okay. The same way, this truth given to Arjuna is given to all persons in the world who pose themselves as very learned but actually have a poor fund of knowledge. The Lord says clearly that He Himself, Arjuna, and all the kings who are assembled on the battlefield are eternally individual beings. and that the lord is him, is eternally the maintainer of the individual and ent- living entities both in their conditioned and liberated situations the supreme personality of godhead is is the supreme individual person and arjuna the lord's eternal associate and all the kings assembled there are individual eternal persons it is not that they did not exist as individuals in the past and it is not that they will not remain eternal persons they individually existed in the past and their individuality will continue in the future without interruption therefore there is no cause for lamentation for anyone wonderful hari krishna thank, thank you, you. so krishna. now arjuna is te- krishna is telling arjuna arjuna see all those people whom you call learned are not learned and you yourself who feel that you are learned you are not actually learned uh, arjuna what are you speaking so who is learned a person who knows about the soul a person whose knowledge is not only restricted to matter so unfortunately children all our science is about matter matter right this atom that atom this neutron that neutron this chemical composition this physics this chemistry this biology it's all at the matter level means our body levels right what is our body made up of earth water fire ether and air this is what our science also tells us but krishna is telling arjuna arjuna rise above the normal level right what is the normal normal level of learned people that at the most all the gold medal medalists will have a gold medal at the level of these five matters only right but a person who knows about the soul which the soul cannot be the soul uh, soul which always exists right that is what krishna is telling arjuna arjuna there was never a time when you did not exist or i did not exist or these all the other kings and the soldiers and the animals present on the battlefield stopped ex- will stop existing right also they were always there they are now and they will always exist now who are you killing 
nobody you are just killing their bodies because they have done certain sins being in this body but the atma the soul never dies so who are you lamenting for what are you feeling bad about right easier said than uh, followed children any if there unfortunately uh, you know if there is any death in the family we do feel bad for the loss of that relative right we are very because a devotee is sensitive and we are very very attached to that person but we should understand children that that person is not um, uh, a b and c whatever his name is he is not uh, uh, you know he is not a particular person he is a soul after leaving one body the soul goes to another body depending on what the person was thinking in his last breath that is why we must always think of krishna so that we at least get the birth of a devotee or we at least get birth in a devotee family right so this is what Krish arjuna is uh, krishna is trying to tell arjuna that no don't lament okay now i want uh, uh, shri ram tej to uh, okay who else is there uh, akshaya one second 1920 of you here okay navya would you like to read please navya read the translation yeah yeah the mayavadi theory the mayavadi theory that uh, that after liberation that individual soul separated by the covering of maya or illusion will merge into the impersonal bra brahman and lose its individual existence is not supported herein by god krishna the supreme authority nor is the theory that we only think of individual individual individuality is that condition state supported herein Krishna clearly clearly says here in that in the future also the individuality of the Lord and others, as it is confirmed confirmed in the Upanishads, will continue eternally. This statement of Krishna's is authoritative because Krishna cannot be subject to illusion. if individuality were not a fact then krishna would not have stressed it so much even for the future hi krishna wonderful okay so children what do you understand here some people the mayavadi philosophy mill of philosophers actually say that you know after dying our souls will merge into the super soul and uh, you know they give analogies like you know how the rivers flow into the ocean and they they become one and they lose their individuality no this is incorrect children actually it what krishna is telling us that that the individuality of krishna means krishna is a supreme person will remain the same and we are not going to merge with krishna no jivair swarup hoy nitya krishna das we are all servants of krishna we will never merge with krishna we will always even after leaving this body even after uh, you know completing the birth and death cycle of birth and death we will go to vaikuntha we will go to goloka dham and serve krishna as his servants what is the uh, you know fun in merging with krishna it will be like quarantine being quarantined how much we know that we want to get out of the houses and we want to go out and meet our friends so our eternal friend krishna is waiting here right so he is waiting here and for us to come back and we will be happy only when we serve krishna so there is no point of uh, merging with krishna so this is the mayavadi philosophy and propat says you should never listen to any of these lectures of mayavadis don't just type on youtube children uh, who is god what is god and just don't see any videos on youtube okay only and ju don't just in read any bhagavad gita just read bhagavad gita as it is because it is as it is spoken by krishna okay now shri ram tej please uh, unmute yourself and read yes ma'am can you hear me yes yes the maya veda may argue that the argue 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 that the individual smoking of, of by krishna is 
spiritual by material even accepting the argument that is individuality is material then how can on this thing hmm distinguish krishna in individuality krishna uh, affirms his individuality in the past and confirms his individuality in the future also he has confirmed his individuality in many ways and impersonal brahman brahman has been declared to be subordinate subordinate oh what happened hmm I'm I'm sure. only got muted. Okay, okay, okay. Continue. Krishna has maintained truthful individualities all along. If he has, he is accepted as an ordinary, conditioned soul in individual consequences. Then has. Bhagavad Gita has no value as authority. Authoritative or... scripture. Sure. Okay. Okay. So what is said said here that Krishna is not an ordinary person. You know, they say that you know Krishna is some hero. He spoke the Bhagavad Gita and he is not actually supreme personality of God. But that is not correct. If Krishna is an ordinary person, then how is his Bhagavad Gita the song of God? and who is singing this krishna is singing so who is god krishna is the god and of course and we have so many shlokas lord brahma himself says ishvara parama krishna satchit ananda vikraha anadiradir govinda sarva karana karanam ishvar is krishna parama krishna krishna is the supreme personality of god it right even there is even lord shiva has said right that my aradhya dev is krishna and like that even you know so there are so many innumerable um, you know evidences that many exalted personalities have said that krishna is god so if krishna is god then his bhagavad gita cannot be ordinary and also it is said that the impersonal brahman has been declared subordinate to krishna what is this impersonal brahman what do mayavadis say they say oh we want to merge in light that god has no form and we want to merge in the light but what is that light that light is compared to the rays of the sun like how the rays of the sun can reach us but we don't say the sun reaches us the rays of the sun reaches so the this this effulgence which the mayavadis say that we will merge in the effulgence this effulgence is the effulgence of the divine and the transcendental body of krishna right okay children so this is always subordinate means always one level lower than krishna brahman is always one level lower than krishna okay we are devotees of krishna and we always seek to do a service loving devotional service to krishna in each situation we have to ask we have to tell krishna oh krishna you have put me in this situation good bad easy difficult whatever how can i please you how can i make you happy in this situation just tell krishna that thing all right so let's read next unnati start oh i'm sorry i have to unmute you Where are you, Unnati? Are you still there? Yeah. Okay, Unnati. Yes, mother. A common man with all the four defects of human frailty is unable to teach that which is worth or which is worth hearing. The Gita is above such literature. No mundane book compares with the Bhagavad Gita. When one accepts Krishna as an ordinary man, the Gita loses all importance. The Mayavadi argues that the pl plurality mentioned in this verse is convention conventional, and that refers to the body. But previous to this verse, 
such a bodily conception is already condemned after condemning the bodily conception of the living entities how was it possible for krishna to place a conventional position on the body again yes wonderful pretty much the same thing right which uh, krishna is uh, saying that uh, uh, you know how can uh, the the mayavadi say right that this is uh, uh, that it, it is all in all that this is the final uh, destination for the soul but it is not true this is the effulgence of krishna but krishna is still there up we have to go and that we can reach krishna only by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare okay anandita unmute yourself now and read further yes ma'am ma'am yeah. mata ji i have to read from nor can the gita right uh, it is marked on the screen therefore individuality oh, oh okay mata ji so that is that is, uh, uh, yeah yeah therefore in individuality is maintained on spiritual grounds and thus is confirmed by the great acharyas like sri ravan ramanuja ramanuja and others it is clearly mentioned that in many places in the gita that is the spiritual individuality is understood by those who are devotees of the lord those who are envious of krishna as the supreme personality of godhead have no bona fide access to the great literature the non devotees approach to the teachings of the gita is something like that of a bee licking the bottle of a honey one cannot have the taste of honey unless one opens the bottle similarly the mysticism of the bhagavad gita can be understood only by devotees and no one else can taste it as it is stated in the fourth chapter of the book one wonderful uh, so where it's you know who can understand bhagavad gita only those who are not envious of krishna that means you and me we say yes krishna is the supreme personality of god and oh he has a he plays the beautiful flute very beautifully oh he wears a Uh, more punk in his head and oh he has he's a, he's tribhang you know he has he's bent in three directions so we know the qualities of krishna name fame qualities past times of krishna and we meditate on that also so only we can understand bhagavad gita because yes we are trying to be devotees of krishna but the non devotees who are no, who are envious who are jealous of krishna hey how can krishna be the supreme oh how can he uh, the supreme have a body oh how can he appear on on earth and do activities like a common man like stealing butter and uh, playing with the gopis and playing with the coward boys no 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 krishna is not god for such people krishna will say dhoonte reh jaoge <laughs> okay children so never be envious of krishna and only accept his authority through bhagavad gita through shrimad bhagavatam also right and those people who try to understand bhagavad gita being envious of krishna is said that they are like you know a bottle which is closed tightly a honey bottle which is closed tightly honey is inside there's no out, honey outside they're trying to lick the bottle will they ever taste honey no they will never be able to taste the bhagavad gita because the bottle is tightly closed by their own thought process that krishna is not supreme the first and foremost step to understand bhagavad gita is to accept that krishna is the supreme personality of god it now last paragraph is very important children okay i I'd, i'd like uh, yes yes uh, saket please read mata ji actually i couldn't speak before because you didn't give me permission to unmute So now Saket you are unmuted right you read now hmm. Okay read uh, Saket are you able to see the screen Yes, Saket. What happened? Are you there? Okay, got muted. Okay, now yes, go ahead. Yes. Nor can the Gita be touched by persons who envy the very existence of the Lord. Therefore, Mayavad, 
Therefore, the Mayavadi explanation of the Gita is a most misleading presentation of the whole truth. Lord Chaitanya has forbidden us to read comments made by the Mayavadis and warns us that the one who takes such an understanding of the Mayavadi philosophy loses all power to understand the real mystery of the Gita. If individuality refers to the uh, empirical universe, then there is no need of teaching by the Lord. The plurality of the individual soul and the Lord is an eternal fact and is confirmed by the Vedas as above mentioned. Hmm, wonderful, wonderful. Um, let's let's go to the... Mm-hmm. Mayavadis? Mayavadis are those people, children, understand it very, very clearly. Mayavadis are those people who say that there is no form of God and that only the light that we see around is God. That is, and we have to merge in that light. These are Mayavadis. So Krishna says that such people are envious of Krishna. Envious means they are jealous of Krishna. They don't take Krishna as the supreme. Such people can never understand Bhagavad Gita. We just read. How is it that they, they, they what will, even if they read the Bhagavad Gita, they will not understand because it will be like licking the bottle of honey from outside. Honey is inside, right? And what is that barrier? The barrier is their understanding that Krishna is not supreme. That means they are jealous of Krishna, right? Such people can never understand Bhagavad Gita and such people who uh, believe that there is no form of God and then God is some superpower, God is some light, they are called Mayavadis. Is it clear, Saket? Okay, you are muted again. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint, Mataji, quickly before we end the class. Okay, Saket, clear? Is it clear to you? Who are Mayavadis? Yes. yes okay. Right, so here, see, Krishna says that all individuals, he's telling Arjuna, Arjuna, why are you crying? Who are you going to kill? See, all individuals always existed. They will exist in the future also and they are existing now also. And Mayavadi philosophy of uh, merging into the supreme they feel that there is no form of god only the light is god is condemned condemned means strongly opposed okay let's go to the next one and here spiritual individuality is only understood by devotees see how nand maharaj how uh, this is akrura akrura is carrying krishna to uh, mathura right and see how gopis are stopping them they are in a relationship with krishna they love krishna they always want to serve krishna see so many people of gokula are there they are stopping they want to stop krishna from going but what is the because they love krishna right so they they can understand bhagavad gita when even you love krishna you can understand the fact that you love krishna uh, 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 is very very uh, uh, is very very clear from the fact that you are attending this particular class on bhagavad gita right children so they are saying that spiritual individuality is understood only by devotees what is spiritual individuality krishna is the super soul and we are the part and parcels of krishna we never merge with krishna we never merge when even after going back to Goloka, we always are separate uh, parts of Krishna and we serve Krishna. Okay, Krishna always remains individual. We also remain individual souls. We never merge like the Mayavadis say. Okay, let's go to the next. Yes, and it is like licking the honey bottle. Will you remember this? When anybody tells you why Mayavad is uh, uh, condemned, then you can give them this reasoning that it is like licking the honey bottle from outside. Will you get anything? No. Okay. Next. So, Hare Krishna. So, today we completed 2.11 and 2.12 children. Thank you for the wonderful participation and uh, any doubts, we can take up one or two doubts quickly. Okay. Hmm. Mataji, Kiara has a doubt. She is raising her hand since long. Yeah, Mataji, just unmute her if you can unmute her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kiara. Read. So, Kiara, pertaining to today's class, if you have any doubt, yes, tell me. Mataji, hmm. I wanted to ask, uh, I, I don't know the meaning really, but
but what is the meaning of individual individual means separate separate person like you are an individual separate person i am an individual separate person okay individual okay. means that particular person individual or the opposite of individual can be said group like a group of people and individual person means krishna is individual means he's a he's one person separate person i am separate person you are separate person tarunya is separate person that is individual okay and all of us cannot merge into krishna okay that is what individuality that is spiritual individuality yes tarunya can i have one link yes yes one second tarunya let tarunya speak yeah mataji can you send the link mataji what link mataji ah uh, just i don't know mataji in kannada that bhagavad gita oh yes yes uh, mataji shweta mataji just send them the gogita.in link no? yes mataji yes i'll send it in the chat you can take it from there okay mataji we saw that uh, brindavan and also govinda temple also and mathura Uh, wonderful so very happy to visit in one uh, mataji wonderful very good mataji if you have any questions just share with us okay hari okay. krishna okay okay anyone else has any questions saket mataji, has a question huh. i had another question actually ha huh. since many classes we have been i have been hearing the name super soul i still do not know what that means super soul see super soul is krishna the supreme soul or the supreme personality of god it ha huh? he is one super soul and from there we are part and parcels of krishna so we are the smaller souls krishna is the super soul understood now got it yes mother yes hmm? mother okay 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 anyone else wants to say anything Okay so thank you very much children for this wonderful participation let's chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare hari rama hari rama 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 hare hare so tomorrow let's meet we are going to show you a wonderful movie we've tried to make a movie we had gone to vrindavan and we've tried to make a movie on vrindavan tomorrow 12 o'clock we'll show you a movie on vrindavan so all of you please please come along with your friends and parents Okay, Hari Bol, Hare Krishna for now. Hari Hari Bol. Okay.